Howdy. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Studio Series 86 Slug. This figure is based on Slag's appearance in The Transformers the Movie from 1986. This figure comes with a blaster and a small posable Daniel Witwicky. Much like Wheelie with Grimlock, the painting on this figure is fine, but the posability really isn't all that great. I wish they would have taken the budget for this figure and given him a sword instead. He can't even stand properly. In robot mode, Slug looks fantastic. If anyone has seen my Studio Series 86 Grimlock review, what you're about to hear is going to sound very similar. I think this figure is almost perfect. The sculpting is borderline perfect, and the wings! No one ever gets the wings right on these toys, but this is the first figure that I believe has done them justice. Anywho, if this figure were, were given a higher price point and given some nicer paint apps and cleaned up a little bit, I think this figure would basically be a masterpiece. Here's how Leader Slug and Daniel scale with Deluxe Class Deep Cover and Voyager Class Sweep. Here's how Leader Slug scales with Deluxe Class SDCC Slug and Deluxe Class Animated Snarl. Well, I mean, he's basically Slug, but like... They, they didn't want to call him what he used to be called. You know, if, if you want to learn more about it, you can watch Chris McFeely's video. I'll have it linked in the description. Here's how Leader Slug scales with Leader Grimlock. And, you know, these two just look amazing together. While Grimlock is technically the largest leader scaled to fit the War for Cybertron trilogy, Slug's head technically goes a little bit higher, so I would dare say that Slug is in fact the tallest leader scaled to fit the War for Cybertron trilogy. Regardless, these figures look amazing next to each other, and I can't wait to get the rest of the Dinobots. In his alternate mode, Slug is, you guessed it, a Triceratops. In his Triceratops mode, Slug looks just as good as he does in robot mode. The mouth is Blast Effects compatible, so you can put Blast Effects in to replicate his fire breath. You know, this figure isn't the most posable. The legs are posable, and they share the same articulation with the arms, and the rear legs, the hinges aren't the tightest, so you can't get the most support out of them, but it still looks great. Again, I still believe that if they gave this figure a higher budget and gave it some better paint apps and scaled it up a little bit, it's basically masterpiece. Heck, the paint apps on it right now are fantastic. Those bright blue eyes pop, and I love the crispness of the red Autobot insignia on his forehead. Here's how Leader Slug scales with Deluxe Class Deep Cover and Voyager Class Art Fire. Here's how Leader Slug scales with Deluxe Class SDCC Slug and Animated Snarl. Again, it's basically Slug, but like they changed the name. Just go watch the Chris McFeely video. And here they are, the Studio Series 86 Dinobots. And you know what? Again, I really cannot wait to complete the collection of Studio Series 86 Dinobots. I think they're going to look fantastic next to each other. I hope you've enjoyed this brief look at Studio Series 86 Slug. If there are any other figures you'd like me to take a look at next, leave a comment down below. And as always, I'm Leo reminding you that plastic toys don't belong in plastic prisons. See you next time.